Uh, could you be interested in playing it on stream? I don't gift it. I don't want to gift it, so it seems like I'll be encouraging you to play. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm up for playing anything nowadays, mate. Um, I've always, I've always been into all sorts of games. So, uh, but honestly, hamster, um, if it's something you want me to play, I will look into to getting it. You don't have to gift it me. That is fine. I'm all up for keeping you guys chipper. You got space and got disappointed. Yeah, you got an issue with the way you carried on in that forum. Well, you weren't wrong about how pointless the conversation was. Go on, only half. Go on, tell me why I'm a bad man. I know I'm a bad man. Okay. I'm not going to put any more reinforcement on these doors, because that's fine. Uh, likewise, I don't think I'll put any more on... Um, yeah, fuck it, we'll do that. We'll do that, that'll be nice. And then we'll just put in a bit more floor. Like so. That'll be good. Elephants. Why is, why is Nerd Rage idle? What's what's Nerd Rage all about? Cooking, construction, a lot of shit he could be doing. Look at all the stuff he could be doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the way you were... Uh, I'm tired of your game. I'm not going to play because you guys don't make the game I want you to make. How do you mean only half? I don't, that wasn't really my point. My point was that they keep making changes to the game without explaining why they're making changes to the game. Um, keeping the community very much in the dark, as in not providing us with an updated roadmap or ideas of where the game is ultimately going. Um, whilst at the same time introducing features that nobody's asked for. Uh, nobody on the forums have been asking for expressive updates, um, whilst many, many people have been asking for more biomes and more diversity. So, I don't know. Maybe my point wasn't conveyed clearly enough, but I definitely wasn't saying, hey guys, I'm bored of your game and I'm not going to play it until you make it the game I want. That's, that's not kind of how I work. But on the same token, this update's pretty shit. That does need to be very clear. But, as I said in the post, it's early access, it's a means to an end, and, you know, same old stuff. Same old stuff. Uh, I'm going to move this stockpile a little bit, because it doesn't need to be this big anymore, and it's it's ugly, and it's in the way, and so I'm going to get rid of some of this, I think. Uh, maybe, like, maybe get rid of all that. We're not gonna have loads of this stuff, are we? We'll mine all this crap out at some point. <laughs> the point was more refined. I'm pretty sure someone carried on, carried on any of your space. Sorry, hold on. That isn't Factorio multiplayer or co-op. There are mods for Factorio. I think that make it multiplayer. Although I, I literally know nothing about Factorio. I know nothing about it. Um, in fact, at one point, Sindane had very, very kindly set us up a Factorio server and we were literally imminently going to play it and then I got sidetracked with... I can't remember what. I think it was... Christ. It might have been They Are Billions. I can't remember. It's a while back. Uh, although your point was more refined, I'm pretty sure if someone carried on any of your space like that, you'd wave bar while giving them the boot. Sorry, I'm pretty sure... Although your point was more refined, I'm pretty sure if someone carried on any of your space. I don't know what you mean, only half. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it, hamster. I, I was more, and, and I've appealed for it for a very long time, and if you go into the actual roadmap thread, you'll see that I've bumped it a few times asking for... You know, can we have an updated roadmap? I don't think that's too much to ask as a community. Like, can we have a bit of an updated overview of where the game's going? Because at the moment, it seems crazy. Like, um... I know. I disagree. I disagree. Only half. There's lots of people that have commented on my YouTube stuff with like really negative stuff, and I've never just gone, "You're a dick. Get banned." Like, that's that's how it goes. And there's people that have come to the stream and stuff in the past that have said things like that, and I've never just banned them. 
The only ones I ban are people that are just outright abusive for no reason. I don't think I was abusive, I think I made a couple of points and asked Cheerio if he could acknowledge them, which at the moment he hasn't done. Listen, I, I like... I, Christ, I put a lot of time into that game and I have gone out of my way to help, you know, numerous new players and publicise the game as best as I can. If they can't take feedback from somebody that's got 2,000 odd hours in the game and stream fucking probably somewhere near 1,000, 1,200 hours in the game. And I don't really know how else I can uh, put my point across. Someone came to you and was like, I want you to play this so I'm out. But that's not what I said only half. I said, I said I'm finding less and less reason to start a new colony. Which is true. The, the cosmic upgrade offered us very little. And this most recent update has offered us very little. So we basically had two updates of nothing. What did the cosmic upgrade give us? It gave us solar panels. And steel, uh, well, refined metal from the sky. That's it. That's all it gave us. The expressive upgrade, it's given us a new quality of life feature. It's removed decor. There's three quality of life buildings, I think. Interactions between dupes. That's it. That's why I was saying I'm finding it hard. I'm finding less and less reason to start a fresh playthrough. But that's I say that's not what I was saying. I wasn't saying fix this or I'm or I'm done promoting your game. I'm done playing your game. I never said anything of the sort. At least that's not how I intend it to sound, anyway. Right, we must have got all this roofing stuff done now, so we've just got a little bit left here. Then we can get these prison rooms sorted again. And release those ball bags so they're out. Give me a supper, I'm out of here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's not the kind of guy I am. Like, I'm... I want the game to grow, I want it to be good. That's why I pointed out that if you look on the Clay forums, if you look on Reddit, if you look on the Steam... Um, forums, community stuff, or however you want to phrase it. The the player base has changed. There aren't loads of keen, just players of the game anymore. There's either pros that have stuck around since day dot and are obsessed with the game and will only play that game and nothing else. You've got lots and lots and lots of new players that are just completely baffled by the game because there's so many things that, that aren't explained clearly enough or don't make sense or... There are systems that are too difficult for new players to come straight in and deal with, which is fine, because I'm all for a steep learning curve with games. I like that. That's why I like games like um, Dark Souls and stuff. I love those sorts of games. I like not having my hand held too much. There aren't very many people that just love the game because the game is good, and that's the worrying thing. There's an awful lot of people that are loyal to the game, and there's an awful lot of people that are new to the game and want to get into the game. There aren't many people that have stuck around and are just love the game for everything it stands for there's some there's not many and that's what worries me because it's that it's those gamers that keep your community flying it's those gamers that keep the forums buzzing and you know content being rolled out uh, without them the game's lost and that's kind of what i tried to say in the in the post the game was never good <laughs> how many hours mex how many hours uh, if I didn't find this channel, I would never have learned the core features and never made it past cycle 70. I watched one stream of yours and got to day 500. Nice, Hamster. Nice. That's what it's about, mate. I've, I've always said it's all about the community. And it's all about, you know, sharing sharing knowledge and, you know. It's not a competitive game. It's not like if I don't tell you something, I'm I'm getting something over you. <laughs> 2,500. Shit game. Only put 2,500 2, hours into it. Shit game. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Oh, Christ. You're a machine. You're a machine, Harry. Alright, let's put some lights in. Let's make this real pretty. They're probably going to bust the shit out of these lights, but whatever. I want them in. Uh, these wind turbines, we are going to move up here. That is Operation... Operation Digout that I want to get done today as well. So, uh, let me just figure that out now, actually. Where is the boundary? Ah, oh, fuck it. F fuck it. 
I would not have dug that out if I'd have paid attention. Although, is it roofed? It is roofed. Right, let's wall that off. Excuse me. Let's wall this off. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, same air. Alex did not mean to do that. Uh, let's get all this walled. I'm going to try and make this like a big flat square. Uh, our research is really flying now, isn't it? Holy shit. Uh, transport pods, long range mineral scanners. Let's get transport pods done. It's quite a cool thing to do. Uh, and then what we're going to want is like a back tunnel through here or something. A sneaky back entrance. But it's going to want to have like some defense as well. So what I might do... Let's get some digging uh, sort of set out. Um, I might do it from here. Because I kind of want to leave this as, as the shape. Deep Rock Galactic is getting quite popular these days. Deep Rock Galactic, do I know what that is? Deep Rock Galactic. Galactic. Is this the one with the dwarf dudes? And they go down spelunking and they have to get resources and take it back to the ship or something. Yeah, I watched some of this about six months back. But it was full of bugs then. Like there were there were mobs that were invisible and killing people and stuff like that. But yeah, it probably seemed quite fun. But it's it's very much a four player game, isn't it? A four player four player mining game, yeah. It's very much you need a squad. Eh, maybe it's something we'll look at. Right, so I want I want to be able to we're gonna do like a wind power grid here or something. And maybe have our little aircon buildings out here. I don't know how this aircon stuff works yet, but that's my thinking. I'm going to want another exit out of the base other than the front. Because let's say we get completely sieged out here and can't leave the base. I want to be able to have like a little side exit to get out. So, I'm thinking of going through here. Go through here. Make like a little box room, like a little, a little makeshift kill room. Do you know what I mean? And then head out. I can maybe even do some, dig some of this out into a, another little mini maze just to detract, sort of, put people off coming in. So we'll do something like that. We'll we'll get this going. Maybe the kill room would be a bit closer actually. Something like that, just so we can put a few turrets in it. This may never get any use, but that's that's the thinking. Oh, we need to do some hunting. That's what we need. Let's open up some of these side things, because I have no idea what I've got at the minute. We're starting to run a bit low on components. We've got a shit ton of cloth and devil strand, so probably wise to make a load of furniture and stuff again. I've actually sat on a reasonable amount of silver, considering I've been buying lots of steel and hyperweave and all that shit. Um, so that's good. Medicine, I think we'll be fine for medicine for a long time. And we've got 91 spliffs. Honestly, life is good right now. What What is it going to take? It's going to take some sort of disgusting, disgusting death to take us out now. Uh, Beamer on, how are you, buddy? Good evening. What do you know, mate? Some sort of disgusting death, that's what it'll take. Oh. Many chairs. We're in the chair business. Cool. <clears throat> Why not open the roof in the kill room for the AC? Uh, I don't actually know how it works, Max. Uh, here we go. Intake fan. This device takes air from its environment, like a room or outside. Channels this air to a pipe network. And then we've got all these different pipes. Red pipes for carrying air, blue pipes for carrying air, cyan air pipes for carrying air. 
Then we've got climate control. This device takes air from a pipe network and cools or heats it depending on the target temperature. Might not be a bad idea, we could maybe put it in here. So they come out of here and get blasted if it's a raid. But then we'll have our aircon units over here maybe? I don't know. Oh, insects coming up on the floor, yeah. Insects are probably more scary to me because they just take limbs so easily. Like a raid you can see come in and deal with. Unless it's drop pods. Drop pods are a bit, a bit rough. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Pale girl. Don't melee attack Grizzly Bear. Get the fuck out of there. Uh, where are your animals at? Pale girl. Grizzly bear, come to the rescue. And Muffalo, come to the rescue. Oh, Christ. And Poppy, come to the rescue! How did this happen? Uh, is there anyone else that can come and help Pale Girl quickly? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Pryor, where are you? I need to get some sniper action on. In fairness, if I get Pryor in, he's going to shoot Pale Girl in the head. I know he is. No, I believe in him. Pale girl, run. Wait the wind. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, wait. Oh. Get him. Take it, take it, take it. I didn't realise that was our bear. I thought it was two bears attacking us. I didn't know it was the name. Jesus. Um... Rescue. Uh, prior, go on about your business. Mm -mm. No nose, Poppy. Oh, don't say that. Has Poppy not got a nose? Oh, shit. Yeah, she had it bitten off. All right, Poppy needs a nose. Let's get Poppy a damn nose. Uh, we've got animal bionics. We have a movie somewhere. Do we have animal bionics? I don't know if I can go here. Drug lab, stone cutters, tissue printer. I must have, um, I must have researched it. Surely. Basic prosthetic, animal prosthetics table. We've not got one of them, have we? Don't think so. Right, let's get one of them down. Uh, we'll put it, we'll put it right there, and we'll get one of these over here as well. There's so much, so much lime on building bunker tiles all across the surface stop regolith from breaking. Uh, through the surface is slowly killing you with heat. Yeah. Um, I've literally, I've, I've barely played the, uh, the, um, Cosmic Upgrade in fairness. I've not played it single player at all. I've only played it on stream. I still don't think I've been to the surface, honestly. I have obviously messed about in debug when I've been doing like build videos and stuff, but not really uh, done all that much. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my life, you ain't missing much. <laughs> Yeah, how are you, Blue? How's it going, bud? How goes it? Uh, wait, hold on. Let's look at look at animal prosthetics. Oh, we've already done all these. Human prosthetics, we've got a bit left to do, but I'm going to leave that for now. Robots, we're probably not going to do too much more with for a while. Turrets, we've done a fair bit. Roadways, we don't need, really. I don't know why I've got that mod installed. So I think we should probably just look at doing some more of this stuff now. Long blades, refining. We're probably going to need that for chem fuel at some point, aren't we? So let's get that going. We'll need chem fuel for pods and all sorts of stuff. So are those chairs? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's my go-to my go-to money maker. Cloth chairs. Why not? Uh, let's select similar. 
Let's get these uninstalled and we'll see if we can sell some of these straight straight away. Got some really pissed off people at the minute. Really pissed off. It's Blue Lance's 41 year old birthday today. Nice. Uh, tell me. What animals have they got? I still want another polar bear, ideally. That is the dream. I would like another polar bear. Uh, I'm going to sell this new muffalo, I think. We don't need another mouth to feed at the minute. We've got enough muffalos. Um, I'm going to buy all their components. I'm going to buy all their Nutramine. Which is expensive, but fine. And then... What have, what have we got here? Oh, we'll have loads of material now, because we should have got rid of all the clothing. So that's awesome. So all the clothing that we've taken apart, we'll now have all these different stuff that we can sell. Which is nice. And we're definitely getting more than um, Dead Man's Clothing money. Because you might get a Dev Dead Man's Clothing Parker with 120 odd materials in it. And it sells for 70p. So I'd rather get some materials back and... Yeah. Sell the materials or use the materials. I'll sell all these spliffs as well. There we go. Uh, uh, you're going to miss out the next Oni update and wait for more content and you're going to play it. I'm not sure, Waffle. I'm not sure. I'm going to finish our current playthrough because I want to get that base finished. Because I really like our current Oni playthrough. Um, but I've not really made a decision on the, on the latest update yet. Obviously it's pre-release, it's been hotfixed a number of times, but some of the hotfixes have been crazy. Like some of the some of the bugs that have been in the game have been a little bit crazy. Um, so yeah, we'll have to sort of take a stance on it a bit close to the time, I reckon. Plepis, welcome to the stream, buddy. Uh, it's it's um, zero eighteen, mate. Right, we've got a slaver dude, but I quite like to get all these things uninstalled. Uh, of which there are many. I'll get all these uninstalled. GG, would you mind doing this? Very good. So we can sell some of these to the slaver guy. Uh, where is the dude? Should be down here somewhere. Get some of these hold. Volcanic winter. Fog. A distant supervolcano has erupted and begun spewing millions of cubic kilometers of ash into the atmosphere. Ash in the atmosphere will obscure the sun, temperatures will drop, and plants will suffer for lack of sunlight. It could be it could pass in a few weeks or it might last many seasons. We've had one of these before that lasted absolutely ages. That might suck a little bit. Right, Zex, now come trade with this guy before they leave. Did you see the transformer changes? What's your thoughts? Uh, I don't understand why we need a 4 kilowatt transformer if we've not got 4 kilowatt wire, but I don't fully know all that much about it. For those of you that might not know, um, the transformers have been nerfed. So the basic transformers that used to deliver up to 5 kilowatts, but they did it in like on a tick basis, so it was a thousand kilowatts per tick, uh, sorry, a thousand watts per tick, and they could deliver five kilowatts. They've been changed now to be a fixed one kilowatt, no more, no less. But they've now apparently introduced a four kilowatt transformer. I don't know. Unless we're getting more wiring, uh, better wiring, I don't really know. It seems to me a little bit strange. I don't know what to make of it, so I don't really have an opinion. Honestly. 
I assume you've heard about the Subnautica Arctic expansion. I have, but yeah, I was watching a video the other day where some guy was theory crafting about some different bits and bobs we can expect to see in it. Um, I'm pretty excited for the Subnautica update, honestly. Pretty excited. Pretty excited is probably an understatement, actually. Uh, I'll use the 4 kilowatt as long as it can supply my 2 kilowatt, then I'm happy. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't compute, but meh, we'll see. I say I've not I've not played with it enough yet to really have an opinion. So, but at first glance, it seemed a wee bit strange. Nice. Okay, let's do a bit of smoothing in the base as well. Uh, we can dig all this out as well, but I want to smooth all these walls and get this stuff sorted out a little bit, and we'll smooth all these as well. Because why not? I don't know why it's done that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Might as well smooth these. This is going to take some time. Smoothing walls takes a bit of time. Uh, right, let's cancel you, you, you. These corner spots they're never going to be able to reach. Uh, D, 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 D. Beautiful. Nice. So let's get a bit of light in here. I'm not fully sure what I'm going to do with this space yet, but we'll get it lit up for now. Uh, I can see my lights. these lights to be connected. And then I think what I'll do, I'll dig out a few sections in the wall for some turrets. Wait, is that behind my fucking lamps? It is. Penis. Let's dig out you and you and you and you. This might be a bit much, but we might not put all these in, in fairness. should be fine. So eventually might have turrets in all these spots, but for now. And then what I'll do, I'll put in a power switch here. And let's just get rid of this conduit a second. Use the 4 kilo as long as it can supply 2 kilo, yeah. So I think I read that a minute ago. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know with Oni. I don't know. But again, I've, I've, this is why I don't stream the pre-release. Because it, so much is subject to change. Um, it's kind of not worth getting too ahead of yourself about. Okay, we'll get rid of... I want all my turrets that I eventually put here to be sort of connected to, to this bit. There we go. Sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Um, I'll just put in like two turrets now for these ones that are going to be a ball lake. Uh, or maybe like four. Fuck it. Just so we've got some defense here, that's all. Okay, we'll carry on doing this wall and stuff out here as well. Get this tidied up. Okay. 
should be nice. Should all be connected to this point now, which is fine. So if I now connect this up, and I'll change this switch to uh, motion in the room. build up. What a hero. What a damned hero. Uh, and then we'll mine out this stuff as well. Uh, we want to remove this roof, don't we? Build a bot is an actual hero. Right. Um, what else should we get from down here? Smoke pot belts. IEDs might be a good one. Let's get IEDs so we can do like bombs and stuff. That could be fun. Cool. So, we've now got this space. I think what I'm going to do is put some concrete floor down. Hey, 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 hey. How much is that? 600 silver. No, 600 steel, rather. Yeah, fuck it. That'll be fine. Uh, oh, we need a door here as well. Uh, so that this knows it is a room. Uh, what we're looking for. Structure. Let's just put in... Let's put in a basic bitch door. One there, one there. Look at Pryor go. It's a machine. Look at him go. Oh, caramel as well. Incredible. Robot trader. Nice. Zexner, you really need to stop having a break. What the fuck's going on? Feeling bad. In a little pain. Should we fix his, his left leg? His, his brother dying, I can't do shit about. Him being very tired is again also a problem that I can't really do much about. Because he's just a jerk. He's just, just a big old... Big old jerk. Um... Have we still not made any tissue? Why is nobody doing this? What would that come under? I wonder. Have I got nobody assigned to it or something? Prior? Yeah, do that please. We head to bed, it's getting late. Thanks for taking care of us. Stay well alive. Oh, hamster, thank you for popping in, mate. And sleep well. Have a lovely, lovely snooze. Yeah, don't do that, Zexner. Come and chat to these people. So we've got loads of furniture to sell. We're smoothing walls. We're digging out. We're tra trading with robot traders. Life is good. Things are good. I'm going to take all this steel. Uh, build a one, build a three, kitchen three. If I had more money, I'd have taken that. So that would really help our food poisoning and stuff. I don't think we need another builder bot. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll just take the hit on this stuff. Um, 
we get all this stuff collected. Mm -hmm. uh, check out Two Point Hostel. It's a game I'm tempted to pick up for myself. Might be something that tickles your gaming toes. Never before. I've been waiting for it, for, uh, buddy. Funnily enough, I've been chatting to one of the ladies from Two Point today. Uh, I've been chatting to her a little bit on Facebook, trying to see if I can get some codes for the game. Because um, I know it was Sips was playing it earlier on. He played it for a little bit. And I'm, I've been waiting for that game for months. Uh, it looks very fun. It is available now on Steam for like 23 quid, I think. But I don't really have the money to spend at the moment. Um, I bought a chair today. And we bought a bed the other day. And I'm tapped. <laughs> so, games have to wait. Um, Maybe if we just did this.